monday.com work docs hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you about work documents in monday.com so let's get started if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below without having to enter any credit card information first things first go into your workspace and just simply enter in and add a document to add a document you just simply click on the plus icon over here and over here select a new doc and over here you just give this document a name let's say marketing and then you can keep it public private or shareable and then you just simply create a doc now that you have created a doc let's go ahead and add different people within it and give them permissions so to add different people just simply click on the share icon over here and over here just type the name or email address of the people that you want to add so let's say we want to add pam beasley we just simply select this person and also we can give this person either permission to edit it as well so for now as you can see it's selected everyone who has access to this doc we can change it to only document owners have the ability to edit this document then if we want to give this person or make this person the owner and give this person the ability to edit the doc all we got to do is just simply click on this blue crown option right here and now as you can see pam beasley is now an owner of this document and can now edit this document as she likes very simple very easy now let me just show you how you can add different elements within the document and how you can search for them as well so it's very simple you can either add different elements by clicking on the plus icon right here and choosing what type of element you want you can add a video an image a gif a divider whatever or what you can do is you can just simply type or hit the backslash option and it's going to give you a bunch of different options right here so you won't need to go ahead and use the mouse it's a shortcut to make the process even shorter it's very simple so let me just fill out this document real quick so over here as you can see this is how it looks like very simple very nice looking document and it's so easy to create as you can see i just enter in a headline i entered in this gantt widget as well which i will show you how you can add in a little bit i added some different options some different texts objectives marketing strategies and all of that different channels launch day checklist as well now let me just show you how you can go ahead and tag different team members within this document well it's very simple let's say i wanted to ask pam beasley to check out the channels right i just simply hit the add button and then i'll just simply choose pam beasley and then there we go she is now tagged within this section of this document and she will know what she needs to do and check out the board right add the board to your team and using the plan to product here right this checklist is for her this is how you do it now let me just show you how you can connect this board to your work doc it's very simple let's go ahead and go into our campaign or work doc and over here let's go ahead and add this document so i'll just scroll at the very bottom and over here i'll click on add column right here and click on files and then it's going to create a new column called files and then we'll just simply click over here and we can click on the docs option and just simply choose the document that we want which is the marketing one and over here as you can see this document is now connected and is now connected within our work doc so as you can see very simple very easy now let me just show you how you can turn any text within a word board item say let's we want to make the marketing strategy into our board item we just simply select the marketing strategy icon or text and we just simply click on plus item right here create item in board and then we just simply choose a board that we want this item to be created in and we let's say we want it to be in the new campaign and now over here as you can see we successfully created one item in the campaign and now we click over here and we can see it within the campaign item right here as you can see it says marketing strategy this is the campaign item very simple very easy now let me just show you how you can actually add different widgets within the document so let's say we want to add a widget right here we click over here on the plus icon which click on the widget and now we just simply choose the widget that we want let's say we want to add a chart and now we just choose what we want right what we want to add or connect this board or which board is we want to connect it to the widget let's go ahead and choose this two and click on done and now it's going to load up and give us all the data on these two boards within this chart so as you can see facebook stocks mailchimp email instagrams and done so as you can see this is how you connect and add different widgets within the board so 
very simple that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below as you will be able to get a free trial of monday.com as well and do check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye